All right, what is going on guys? Today we are watching a new anime or the first anime of the fall season that will be on my channel. Um, my first fall anime season anime as well. A little bit earlier than the other anime, uh, which is Freedom the Freedom Beyond Journey's End. I, I hope I'm saying that right. I think Freedom is a, a German word or a German name. Um, yeah, uh, this I don't know shit about this anime or the story. I know that it's seemingly quite popular um amongst either the manga or a light novel i'm not actually sure which it is manga or light novel um i know it's an adventure adventure fantasy i've seen like the trailer and the posters and stuff and it looks quite it, it gives off kind of like the look it gives off kind of a mashoku, mashoku tensai vibe um i know the staff is stacked it was like the, the director for bocce the rock the staff like the general staff it's by studio madhouse as well which would make it like a hopeful return um, to the anime industry um, they had like someone great on the music as well I don't know uh, it was supposed to be a two hour episode which would have been insane but I would have done uh, but apparently this one is only 25 minutes I'm not sure when they're supposed to be doing like four episodes in one like the split in the mid four episodes I mean I don't know when they're going to release the rest of those but I guess we'll see um, this one is just episode one so maybe they'll release the rest of today or maybe it'll just be weekly now i don't know but yeah i'm looking forward to starting this anime see what it's all about see if it's any good so uh yeah if you're new to the channel guys please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well and let's go right into this episode right now oh straight into the opening okay that doesn't happen often these days it, it's definitely giving me a mishoku tensai vibe like even like the green filter that's on the screen right now but that might just be in the opening i don't know okay Song's kind of vibey. I literally have no clue what this anime is about. She's an elf. That's about it. Fantasy. General anime opening. Not revealing much. I just know, like, there's going to be some gorgeous moments in it, though. From, like, what I've seen in the uh, trailer and whatnot. The character design's really pretty as well. Nice. That was a pretty damn cool opening. At the north, north and most end of the continent, I arrived at the place that the people of this world called Heaven. Aurora the land where souls rest. Aurora all. Aurora all. Many souls gather there, and I spoke of friends who once fought alongside me. Lamb the legendary mage. Freedom. Okay, that's how they say it. Look for work? Are you not adventurous? Oh, they defeated the Demon King. Okay, other anime couldn't, could never. <laughs> Drink on the job, yeah. Much longer than we can imagine. Is that because she's an elf? Beyond Journey's End. Oh, so these, like, it's this group then that defeated the Demon King. They're being, like, celebrated and shit. Damn. They must be strong. Surely you'd never have to work a day in your life again if you defeat the Demon King. Why are they talking about getting jobs? Will it, though? Do they ever? Oh, Jesus Christ. There's some crazy magic fireworks. Wow. This seems quite happy right now. This is like what you get at the end of an anime. Ten copper coins. You better have given you more of a reward now. You corrupt priest. <laughs> Damn. Like, five minutes into it. This is the end of your adventure. Crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, I've been here. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> These are the guys that defeated the Demon King, eh? A mere 10 year adventure? That's long. Damn, 
<laughs> I guess, yeah, her being an elf. Time is different for her. I assume that guy's a dwarf as well. Don't dwarfs li live for quite some time as well? And then the other two are probably just humans. Don't spoil the mood. <laughs> Next time, you mean in 50 years when these guys are old men? The next day. Damn, splitting up? After 10 years? You're basically family at that point. For the next 100 years or so? Remember, you gotta stop by in 50 years. How old is she? We about to get like a massive time skip or something? The anime just started, we just met these characters. And <laughs> she's stuck in a mimic again. This anime is pretty as hell. Nah, probably not. Surely. <laughs> it's been 50 years already? That's one hell of a time skip. Hopefully they're still alive. This is like, like almost a completely new generation of people. Well, I mean, it technically is. The other generation so should still be here. Those statues are going to be of legends. These people won't even know who they are. Is this the blue-haired guy? <laughs> Is this the dwarf or the blue-haired guy? That's crazy. They're living whole lives without her. He still got it, just exuding that aura. <laughs> That's kind of sad, bro. She doesn't, like, see life like they do. Like, this horn thing isn't a big deal. To him, that is, like, everything. Yeah, to him, it is. That's kind of sad. Oh, they're statues. Copper's gone all oxidized. Wow, that's so rude. <laughs> Yeah, he's, I, I can tell by his voice, this must be the blue-eyed guy. Oh, he still looks very much the same. The dwarf hasn't aged much. She's definitely much older than him. <laughs> yeah, so dwarfs can get quite old as well. You're going to make this old man walk that far? Oh, this is sweet. Kind of sad, though. Oh, it's Wolf going in. Okay. Damn. The soundtrack is gorgeous. So the vibes I'm getting from this is like, this is going to be about her journey of understanding time and people and stuff. Aww. I can tell I'm going to get emotional, emotional as hell on this anime. He's dead? Fuck, oh, man. We just met him. Damn, this this looks like it wasn't much 
after that. <laughs> Show some respect. Oh, That's not how he'd want them to be. He'd want them to be happy. She's gonna have to do that with all her friends. This sucks. I'm glad all the anime I've watched that have elves in them don't go this quick. Because that is such a really sad feeling. And ten, 10 years is like, what, like a seventh of his life, probably? <laughs> Don't pat my head, I'm not a kid. Aww. Divine punishment. <laughs> How long are dwarfs supposed to live for? Isn't it like 250 years or something like that? Maybe like 400? Elves will live for fucking ages. Oh, that's nice. Are they going to travel together again? <laughs> Aww. I wonder if he's going to be alive the next time she comes around here. The journey's end. Twenty years after the death of Hima the hero on the outskirts of the holy city of Stral in the Centerlands. Oh, this is the girl from the opening and stuff. But she's a little kid right now. He's still alive? It's been 20 years? I thought alcohol was just going to take his ass out. <laughs> She's so mean to him. So is this his granddaughter or something? Oh, okay. She do be having purple hair. He do not be having purple hair. Take on an apprentice? Is it going to be this girl? Oh, okay. Get in your way? Come on. Your friend's last request. Resurrection and Immortality. Five or six years. You're going to be gone by then, bro. You corrupt priest. <laughs> Damn, you're giving her a full time job here. Look at that big staff compared to her. That's so cute. I'm interested in seeing how powerful she is. Does that mean she has no mana or she's just really well... She's really good at keeping it secret. I guess she's kind of built different. That was fucking close. Jeez. She's... She's gonna be fucking powerful. Damn, that was a good first episode. Now the ending as well. Ending gorgeous as well. The art is so nice. Oh, there's Witch Studio in the credits as well. Damn, who they got working on this? I guess, like, multiple studios will work on it. Maybe, like, freelancers or whatnot. Oh, it's Mille? Is it Mille? Is that how you pronounce it? Mille or Millet? Damn. Bro, the, the staff and the people involved in this are actually stacked. This is such a nice ending. We find out eventually how old she actually is. Not, not that it matters, really. Elves can live like thousands of years, I think.
Right, so that was Frieden Beyond Journey's End episode one. That was really freaking nice. That kind of exceeded my expectations there. I'm not like I like I said, I wasn't sure what the anime was gonna be about. I kind of get the gist that it's kind of time and this girl who, because of her race, lives ridiculously longer than other people. Um so getting to know people, understand humans, maybe traveling with a human will kind of slow down her look on time. I mean, obviously, she tra she traveled with two humans for 10 years. Um, but, like, training a human, maybe trying to slow down her look on life. It's an interesting concept. Obviously, there's nothing we could ever compare it to because we only exist as humans. But, like, damn, the concept of immortality and stuff, and now that she's got this grimoire as well, she may actually be able to get unlock an immortality spell or figure it out for a longer life obviously this um that her priest friend will likely be dead by the time she figures that out uh but it's definitely definitely looking forward to the rest of this anime i don't know when the next two three four episodes are coming out um because it was supposed to be a two-hour special, and then I think Crunchyroll split it up. I don't know if it's going to be weekly or if it's, they're going to be the rest today. We don't really know yet, but I guess we'll see. Overall, a very good first episode. I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have an interesting day, and peace out.